Hello, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to be talking about how, by the age of 21, I have been a validation engineer and a software engineer. And as you've probably already noticed, I suck at editing, <laughs> but it's the first video. I promise it'll get better. And also, this is not a how-to. This is how I did what I did. That's not how you can do what I did. So keep that in mind. Hopefully you learned something. But of course, I could not have done it without family and friends, so shout out to them. With that being said, let's get right into it. Actually, let me try something first. Oh my god! Wow! I don't know if that makes it any less distracting or how smooth that's going to look once I actually edit it, but I had to try. So, it started my sophomore year of high school where I applied to be in something called DIA or Dual Enrollment Engineering Academy. And I got accepted. So the summer before my junior year, I started going to the local community college and taking courses there. I don't think I had a choice in the courses that I took uh, because we all did the same ones under the associate's degree. So during high school, I would go to high school, of course, the first half of the day. And at about 1230, I think I would take I would either drive or take a bus to the local community college, which was probably five minutes away. I did that through all of high school, and long story short, I graduated with an associate's degree in science from the local community college. And it was actually about a, a month before I actually graduated from high school. So after I graduated high school in 2017, I went to a university nearby. Uh, it was the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, and it was about 15 minutes away. The associate's degree that I got from the community college transferred completely. So going in, I already had about two years done. So during college, I lived at home with my parents about 15 minutes away. I joined clubs like SHIP and IEEE, and I had one internship. In the summer of 2019 is when I did my internship and when I slowly started applying for full-time positions. I want to say I applied for about 100 in total. And I had no idea what I wanted to do with my degree. I did as many interviews as I could. I worked on my resume and I ended up with three offers by the time I graduated. I did have a pretty good GPA. When I was applying it was 3.84. On January 2nd, I accepted a full-time position with a company in the automotive industry and I actually had already accepted a previous offer and I had to tell them never mind three days later oh, that's a lot of damage and I could talk more about that in another video and with this company I'm in a rotation program it is a two-year program with four six-month rotations my first one was as a validation engineer and my second one which I'm currently in now is as a software engineer so, like I said, I graduated high school in 2017, and then I graduated college with a Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering in the fall of 2019. So I went through it pretty fast. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some pros and cons about that. For me, pros, I got to finish early. Uh, about two and a half years after I graduated high school, I uh, got a full-time position. Also, the classes I took at the community college counted as high school credits and of course it saved me a lot of money I did not pay for any of the community college classes and since I went to a smaller university it was cheaper some cons it did have an impact on my social life I'm not very social anyway, so that was like okay for me. I also missed uh, like half of my football practice. I got out of the community college at about 5, and so by the time I was on the field, it was probably 5.30. Another con was that it was really stressful. I was taking advanced courses, and it did feel a little rushed at times. So to summarize what I just said, I went to a community college, and I did it during high school, so it saved me two years. I did not go to an expensive university. 
I networked and joined clubs while I was at my university. I worked on my resume and worked on my interview skills. Both of those could be can be done through a club at school at your university. Also, I did just summarize the last five years of my life in a short video, so I definitely missed a lot, but I will be covering these topics uh, with more detail in later videos. Some of the videos I want to make is how I got the full-time offer, how I got my in internship, how I improved my resume, how I improved my interview skills, and my transition from a college student to adulting across the country. Thank you for watching the video. If it brought any value to you at all, please hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. Um, it'll help me out a lot. Maybe I can get a real microphone.